All right, today we got some injectors to do on a Series 60 Detroit. Truck's a Freightliner, I think it's like a 97. So we're just gonna do all six injectors. Guy's getting a little bit of white smoke, it's not running perfect. Shouldn't be too bad of a job. We'll get that air cleaner off and out of the way. A couple of these support bars holding the radiator up. And then we should be able to sneak the valve cover out of there. Looks like he's got a little bit of oil seepage on the side, so we'll get a new gasket for that and fix that up. Yeah, as you can see on this side too. We'll start stripping some stuff off and we'll check back once we got the valve cover removed. All right, so first thing you want to do is grab your air gun and clean up all around the valve cover here. That includes these four bolts that are holding the valve cover down. And then go all the way around the edges and blow any dirt or debris or oil or any buildup out of there as well to make sure it's clean. So when we pull that valve cover off, no dirt's going to get underneath into the head. We got one, two, three, four bolts holding the valve cover on. We'll just get this bar out of the way yet and then we'll lift it off there. All right, got the valve cover off. Now we're going to pull off the three jake heads. They're a 12 millimeter, 12 point socket. You want a big breaker bar for that. And then your wires are just a flat screwdriver. There's one, two, three bolts on each of the jake heads and three of them to remove. I'll get that pulled off and then we'll get to work on the rockers. Once you get the jakes off, I marked them one, two, three to keep them in order. And then the rockers, they're also a 12 millimeter, 12 point. And on each end is an 18 millimeter, six point nut. Once you get all the bolts, loosened off, try to loosen them off evenly and lift the rockers up evenly. They come off in two in two rails. Then you'll be able to lift them off and just set them in the valve cover. Then you're gonna to wanna to go through and check all your rollers, make sure everything looks clean and smooth, make sure it's not roughed up, nothing's pitted or peeling. Next thing we're gonna do is get the injectors pulled out. The injector wire is just a number five millimeter socket. You loosen the two screws and then pop the two wires off kind of like that. And then the injector holds down our 15 millimeter socket and just use a breaker bar, crack them all loose, and then you can pull them out. But before you pop the injectors out, you're gonna to wanna to take your fuel return or your fuel line off the pump here that goes to the back of the head and blow air through it, and that'll flush all the fuel out of the head and out of the injectors. So when you pop the injectors out, the fuel doesn't leak down and fill the cylinders full. So I'll pop those injectors out and then we'll start prepping everything to put back together. All right, so I pulled off the injector hold downs, kept them all in order, try to keep everything neat and tidy. And then you want to use a pry bar like this, works really good with the fulcrum on the end. Get it under the back of the injector and pops out like nothing. Two. So I'll get those all popped out, I'll lay them on the bench, and then get them in the core boxes and we'll get the O-rings on the new ones. And clean her up and start putting them back together. With all six injectors removed, make sure you clean the injector bores out really good, no debris, pull them out really good, and also look down in there and inspect the injector cups to make sure you don't see any antifreeze leaking or anything abnormal with them. The next thing we're going to do is prep the injectors for install. The top o-ring is the orange one, followed by the two black ones. Then don't forget this very big black one, make sure you order that when you're ordering the o-rings, and then little garfoil gasket down at the tip here. To hold that big o-ring on the bottom and that garfoil gasket, we're just going to use some luber plate or some white lithium grease. You're just going to slather it onto the end of the injector there, and it'll do a good job of holding the o-ring in place and holding the gasket on the bottom so nothing falls off on you when you go to stick the injectors down in the bore. The last thing we're going to do before we stick the injector in the bore is make sure you lubricate all the o-rings with a good 1540 motor oil so everything slides in nicely, and make sure you push everything down evenly and don't use the bolt to pull it in. The torque spec for the injector hold downs is 48 foot-pounds. Make sure you tap them in by hand or push them in by hand. Don't suck them in with the bolts. Once you have them fully seated, just go ahead and do two passes of 48 foot-pounds on the bolts and the injectors will be installed and you can move on to getting your wires hooked up. Next, we're gonna get the rocker shafts reinstalled. You can just set them in place and tighten them by hand to start. Torque spec on them is 100 foot-pounds. You're going to work evenly across the bolts, tighten them down in an even pattern, working from inside out or outside in. Make sure you don't get one side tight, one side loose to put unnecessary stress on the rocker shaft. With the rocker shaft torqued down, just go over everything, make sure everything looks like it's seated correctly and sitting where it needs to be. Now is the perfect time to go ahead and do that overhead set if you wanted to do that. We've already checked it in this video and that'll be a separate video I'll make it another time. So next thing we need to do, you can see I still haven't installed the wiring onto the injectors. We're gonna go ahead and get those installed next, slip the wires back on, same way as removal, and tighten them up with this little torque wrench to 13.4 inch pounds.
And then the last thing we got to do is get our jake heads reinstalled. Those are torqued to 100 foot pounds as well. Just get them slid on there and do a nice little crisscross between the three bolts, get them snug down evenly, and then don't forget to hook up the wires to your jake solenoids. Then we'll grab the valve cover, get the new gasket in it, and set it back on top of the engine. The torque spec for it's 20 foot pounds. Start in the middle and work your way out and go over it a couple times, make sure it's fully seated. Then you can go ahead and put the air cleaner and any support rods or anything else we had to take off to get the valve cover out of the way. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up for this job today. You can hear the trucks running good in the background here. No more white smoke and running smooth. If this video helped you out in any way, please hit that like button. Comment if you have any questions and always consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next one.